Welcome back to Life is Strange. We're about to head to Mr. Jefferson's glass, but we got a little bit of time before that so we can wander around. I know at least one of the things I want to do is, I think, if I remember right, when the first time I played this, I completely missed going to speak with Warren, who I think was in the science class or something like that, the science lab. And I believe that's where you get that photograph down there of the beaker. So let's definitely do that. There's also a picture of somebody looking out the window, which might also be in the same room, actually. Hey, David. I should feel lucky to be here. Gonna stop me as I walk in? Max, mm -hmm. can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. See ya. I'm never gonna like David. Never. <laughs> no matter how much they try and... Or no matter how much he tries to make himself look like... Not that bad of a guy. Nope, he's a piece of shit. Hey, girl. I hate you, Warren. I'm in the sci-fi lab. No, I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to score some weed from Nathan. Ah, here it is. Oh, Miss Grant teaches the class. Mmm, look at that muffin. What kind do you think it is? I see lumps. What could they be? Chocolate chip? Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Think, big brain. Think. Is that the stuff I need to take a picture of? I'm not seeing an angle to take a picture, though. Bring me the brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. This can't be hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Well, if you blow up, I'll just rewind time. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Just gonna back away. Hmm. Weird science. Hey, War. Maxwell's... Asking... Have that. Oh. Oh, we have a new option. Lots of potassium? Yes, lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. 
You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. It's back really far away. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Nice reference. Is that a picture opportunity? Hmm. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Let's go back and try sodium. Hey, Maxwell, I have that. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. So I guess Warren just wanted an explosion? Hey, I have that. Yeah, I guess so. I actually think. Wonder what that smells like. She blinded me with science. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Such a morose atmosphere outside. But I guess that's rain for you. So yeah, these definitely look like the windows in the picture. One of the pictures that I need to take. One, two, three, four. Four squares. Eh, well, these have like six squares. But, you know, whatever. Pretty sure those are the windows. But somebody's standing in front of them, and right now nobody's standing in front of them. Hmm. And also the beakers. Where are the beakers I need to take a picture of? Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. <laughs> Got a cigarette stuck in their mouth. Let me look around for picture opportunities. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. 
There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Oh, maybe I should tell Warren that. Or if I should rewind to before they blew the stuff up? Huh. Um, well, I just rewound, and I think the science experiment might be going a little, a little bit wrong. <laughs> I seem to have broken the particle emitter in this game. It's just spewing a cloud of dust over the entire room. Um, <clears throat> Miss Grant? How you doing, Warren? Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Cool. <laughs> Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it! Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now we can take the photo. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. No, Max. Nobody's cute but Chloe. Get your mind off, Warren. Yeah, perhaps? Maybe it's the other glass room that has the final picture. Well, it's actually not the final one. There's also the one at the diner, which the more I continue on, the more I suspect I missed it. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let's go to Mr. Jefferson's class. Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, Kate. Oh, right. Conversation between them. You have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Can I catch up with her and talk with her? Stop! Don't come near me. Hmm. I think I just rewound the science experiment. Eh, oh well, I already got the picture. Just leave me alone! You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap! What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone! You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap! What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it! Just leave me alone! You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr- It's starting to loop? Now that I- This feels like major deja vu. I remember this looping before, too. Huh. I'm not sure exactly what Jefferson is trying to talk to Kate about, but we know the whole reason all that stuff happened, with Kate ending up in that video and being drugged by Nathan, is all because of him. And he, in fact, took pictures of her. I'm 99% certain. Took pictures of her in his disturbing little creepy ass basement. And wasn't it below that barn, kind of out in the middle of nowhere? The basement? Crap. What do you want from me? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Oh, I see. I'm not important to you anymore. Nobody cares about me. 
Nobody! Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. Wait a minute. I didn't take the photograph, but I did take the photograph. I took the photograph and then I rewound time. Which preserves the photograph. Right? I mean, all the other photographs I take are preserved in my collection, even after I rewind time. I assume you know about this viral video? That's really bizarre. I don't, I don't understand why they're treating that picture differently from the other pictures. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Ah. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, so Jefferson's trying to, like... Jefferson's trying to gaslight her, basically. And remember, I told her that she should go talk with the police. So yeah, Jefferson's trying to, like, gaslight her and make her feel like what she thought happened and what did happen didn't actually happen. Because... If the police start investigating the party and Nathan and all that stuff, they could potentially be led to what Jefferson's been doing. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Hell no. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh... Hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Hmm? Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, it, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? If I had to guess, I would say that he's probably talking with Nathan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh huh? I think it might be looping now. Yes. It's probably looping at this point. Oh, here we go. Alyssa must be the picture. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Both. 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 Nina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like this. What are they doing over here? Oh, taking photographs of Dana. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Hashtag big mood. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. 
I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Rachel Amber, forever. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Oh, Nathan's right there, which means Jefferson was not talking with Nathan. Huh, who was it? Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson. Like no he time to talk, shit. Max. Like Posing in does. progress. Max is such Here, I'll be in all her photographs. Shh, I think she can hear us. <laughs> Photobombed. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a <laughs> good look at themselves. From Chloe? Uh, Max, the boss with a gun, marry me. <laughs> Illegal in Oregon, for now. Fuck that shit. Elope. That sounds nice. Oh, so we can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. I guess like Kate will miss class now. Who I know I'm worried about her. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Oh, so this is when it happens with Kate Marsh? I figured it would probably happen this episode because... Well, because we kind of like the... The stuff that Kate Marsh seems to get the worst at this point. It's gotten progressively worse and worse. And also we just read the stuff that's in her room, and I know that that's important for her talking her down. And so if it happened in the next episode, there'd, there'd be enough of a gap between the episodes that 
it's a good chance that you might forget the information that you needed to know to talk her down. So, makes sense it would happen at the end of this episode. Dismissed. Okay, well I know this is going to be a pretty long sequence, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to once again try to talk Kate Marsh down and remember we're not going to have the use of our powers. <laughs>